the second round of the Andalusia Costa del Sol opened at Espana. Of course, a little behind after the weather delays from round one. So the players, some of them had to come back and complete their first round in the morning. Esther Henselite was amongst those. So a lot of holes played, but that's the way to finish your day. What a birdie at the ninth on her way to a 75 for last year's number one on the Ladies European Tour Order of Merit. Now this went a little right from Atha Munoz at the third, but she's an honorary member here at Royal Club de Golf Guadalmina. That's what you call a member's bounce. And it brought the local favorite a much needed birdie. She is two over par. Megan McLaren, well, with the round of the day, of those that completed the second round, she's the only one in the 60s, a 68 to get to one under par. Luna Sabron with a lovely birdie here at the par three eighth. Unfortunately, she dropped a shot at her final hole of the day. She's also at that one under par mark, although she's got nine holes still to complete in round two. Player very much in form the last few weeks. Now, in the hazard, you think it's a problem for Sana Newton and no, mark me down for a birdie four. Back to where she started the day at five under par. But how about this from Emily Pedersen, of course, looking for a third successive Ladies European Tour title. She picked up her 12th eagle of a memorable 2020 campaign here at the 14th. Pedersen in the mix again at five under par after a second round, 71. Well, one of the shots of the day came from Kelsey McDonald right before the hooter sounded for darkness. This at the par five, seventh from the Scott, catapulting her into second place on her own at six under par. But it's Nuria Iturios who leads the way, the 24-year-old from Mallorca looking to become just the second Spaniard to win the Spanish Open. Got herself into a four-shot lead at one point. In the end, she had to settle for a 78 under par. She'll head into day three with a two-shot lead. Confirmation of how it stood overnight.